Hey guys, we're going to talk about New Year Eve's superstitions. So this is me like kissing at midnight to like work to cleaning. So first up, kissing at midnight. We kiss those stairs to us at midnight not only to share a moment of celebration with our favorite people, but also to ensure those affections type will continue throughout the next 12 months. To fail to smooch a significant other at the stroke of 12 would be the would be to set the stage for a year of hopeness. Stocking up. The new year must not be seen in the bare cupboards. Lest that be the way things for the year. Larders must be topped up with plenty of money just to, and plenty of money must be placed in every wall in the home to guarantee prosperity. I'm paying off the bills. This one's kind of obvious, but the new year should not be going be begun with the household in depth. So checks should be written and mailed off prior to January first. Likewise, personal debts should be settled before the new year back. First footing. This one's long, but the first person to enter your home after the stroke of midnight will influence the year you're about to have. Ideally he should be dark haired, tall and good looking. And it would be even better if he came bearing certain small gifts such as a lump of, a lump of coal, a silver coin, a bit of bread, a sprig of evergreen, and some salt. Blonde and redhead first footers bring bad luck, and female first footers should be shooed away before they bring disaster down on the household. Get rid of those women, guys. So, not a quality, but whatever. Aim a gun. This is a lot. At them, if you have to, but do don't let them near your door before the man, before the man crosses the threshold. Um, the first footer, sometimes called the lucky bird, should knock and be let in rather than unceremoniously use a key, even if he is one of the householders. After greeting those of the house, <coughs> dropping off whatever small tokens of luck he has brought, with them he should make his way through the house and. Leave by a different door, the only one through which he entered. No one should leave the premises before the first first footer arrives. The first traffic across the threshold must be headed in rather than striking out. Um, <clears throat> sorry, nothing goes out. This is a cleaning. Nothing, absolutely nothing, not even, even garbage, is to leave the house on the first day of the year. If you if you have presents around New Year's Day, leave them in the car overnight. Do so much as shake out a rug or take the empties to the recycle bin. Some people often, soften, wow. This rule by saying it's okay to remove things from the home on New Year's Day, provided something else has been bought on first. Food. A tradition common to the southern states of the USA dictates that the eating of black-eyed peas on New Year's Day <clears throat> will have both general good luck and financial good luck or good for fortune in particular. To so the one doing the duck, some chose to either sell them fair, such as ham hocks, collard greens, or cabbage to this tradition. But the black eyed peas are key. <laughs> Other lucky foods are lentil soup, pork, um, and sauerkraut. Um, another oft repeated belief holds that the that one must not eat chicken or turkey on the first day of the year. These like the birds in question. To interfere themselves to scratch the dirt all year for the dominic. Basically bring property upon them. Um, seeking food, another tradition I know is the twelve grapes. So I know, I think this is Spain. And where, with each stroke of midnight, you eat a grape to bring them back. I don't know that's in here, but... <coughs> um, so... New clothes. 
Wear something new on January 1st to increase the likelihood of receiving more new garments during the year to follow. Money. Do not pay back loans or loan money or other purchase items on New Year's Day. To do so is to guarantee you'll be paying out all year. Wreckage. Avoid bringing things on the first day. These wreckage be part of your year. So by crying on the first day of the year, these the activities set the tone for the next 12 months. Um, letting out the, letting the old year out, emanate all the doors of the house must be open to let out, let the old year sleep unimpeded. He must sleep before the new year can come in, says popular wisdom, so doors don't go open to assist him to find his way out. Usually we used to do this when I was younger, because it's kind of totally where I live, considering I live in Pennsylvania, and originally I lived in New Jersey, so it's just something you didn't really do commonly. He'd rather open the window so he find his way out the window. Um, loud noises. Because much noise is possible at midnight. You're not just celebrating your scaring away evil spirits. So do a darn good job of it. Print to wise superstition, evil spirits, and the devil himself hate loud noises. Yeah, I can see that actually. We celebrate by making as much as a it didn't as possible, not just just as a joy of at having a new year at our disposal, but also be sure we'll scratch and his minions don't stick around. Church bells are out on a compulsive wedding day for the same reason. It's like the bells are like the handles, especially now. <coughs> they're not called handles, but I don't remember they're actually around to keep the spirits away. The weather. Examine the weather in the early hours of New Year's Eve. The winds will for south. There will be fine weather and prosperous times in the year ahead. Comes to the north, it will be a year of bad weather. The wind blowing from the east, will examine in climamities. Wow. Strange as well. The wind blows from the west. Wait for me. That's east, that's west. Here, because that's north, that's south. Try and point the direction to doing the opposite of what I really should be doing here. But anyway, change the bell. Most from the west. The year will witness plenty of supplies of milk and fish, but also will see death there in prone person. If someone at all, joyful prosperity of a begin. Uh, bye. Okay, so my question is this last year has wind here from the. Is it? More fast because he had a blizzard, and then very important person could be someone like a celebrity, I think, or someone very important to you. So, I should look that up. anyway, and then born on January 1st is last one. Please, born on this day will always have luck on their side because sorry, life is starting a new year every year, so. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Love ya. See ya.